Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I got an assignment from my professor to create a video about theology using Squiggle. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that today. So when I first log into Squiggle, I'm shown with three options to create a video, easy mode, custom mode, or Squiggle your PowerPoint. I'm going to create a custom video, so I'm going to click custom mode. I'm first shown to title my video, so I'm going to do theology. I could then speak out my script. So let's say I didn't really write a script. I could click this microphone and it'll capture my voice and convert that into text. But I did create a text already using Microsoft Word. So I'll paste that here. Once I have my title and my script, I'll then click Next. Here I have a few options for audio. I can upload my own audio MP3 file. I could record my own voice right within Squiggle, or I could use machine voice. I'm going to demonstrate using machine voice. Here you have many options for the machine voice. I'm going to create, use the first one. I'll hit select and what it's doing is reading my script for me and creating a, a voiceover file for that specific script. I'll then click on next. Here I get the option to let Squiggle select my keywords, or I could choose my own keywords within the narrative. Alternatively, I could let Squiggle create the grouping for me, or I could use my own grouping. I'm actually going to let Squiggle do the heavy lifting, and so it uses artificial intelligence to do most of the work for me. I'll then click on Next. So now I'm taken to my edit screen, and you notice that there are a few underlined words within my script and some animated images associated with those specific keywords. One of the first things I do when I get to this screen is go through my timeline and make sure every single image is associated with that specific keyword that I intended to be. So for example, the keyword study, if I click on squiggle at options, this is all the tools I get for that specific keyword. I could replace it, make a group, remove it, modify, add a transition effect, put some overlay images, text, change the color, and also add a background image. I'm going to click replace, and it searches our whole database of animated images for that specific keyword. I could search for a specific keyword that I have in mind. I also search the Bing image database for the specific keyword study, and I could insert a JPEG image within my timeline. So I'll go back to my glyph database and click on this specific keyword. Hit confirm, and you see it's been replaced. Let's say I wanted to change that into red. Again, I go to my options here, click on color, click on red, hit confirm. You see it's been changed to red. And so another, so I go through, go through, looks perfect to me. And so then I'll hit finalize. Here you're taken back to the dashboard and your video starts rendering. So it looks like our video has been finished. So once I click on it, I get all these different ways to share my project. So my professor actually wanted me to share my project with him via the URL. And so I switched this to videos live. I could then get a URL, copy this link and share it with my professor. Usually what my professor does is he adds comments to my videos. And so he says, you know, change this image or, you know, this specific sentence might need some edits. And so he does that via the add comment. And it's, it's nice because he gets to add a timestamp to that specific area of the video. Let's say I wanted to download this video and upload to Facebook, YouTube, or any social media site. I could go to additional files and here you see all the files that I used within my video the mp3. I have, I had a background soundtrack that I added, the mp4 of the video, which is what you would download, 
the SRT file, which is used for closed captioning, and also the PDF version of my script. And let's say after getting edits from my professor, I needed to make those changes. If I go to copy project, I get taken back into the edit mode and a brand new project is created for me with those specific changes in mind. Thank you so much for watching.